Okay, well, here's another little engine that we haven't seen for a, a while. In fact, not even since I actually put it all together. It's a crossover engine between a Suffolk Iron Foundry engine and a Briggs & Stratton Model 5S. Uh, the two engine manufacturers manufacturing at roughly the same time um, seem to have pretty much copied each other and uh, pretty sure, well it will be in fact that Suffolk Iron Foundry had copied the design for the slightly older Briggs and Strands because these Briggs and Strand blocks were around since the 40s and uh, Suffolk Iron Foundry didn't start to make their four stroke engines until 1954. So this is a crossover between the two engines. Uh, so it's got the Suffolk Iron Foundry's block, uh, crankshaft, and ignition system, and carburetor. And then it's got the 5S's sump. Uh, with its very unique gear pump uh, distributing oil around the engine and then it's got the Briggs & Stratton Model 5 S's piston and connecting rod, rings and also the 5 S's cylinder head. So yeah, a pretty decent little crossover of bits and pieces in there. It's uh, probably about 60% Suffolk and 40% Briggs & Stratton. Um, when I find out something that I can fit to the manifold of the old 5S's block. Uh, we'll probably use the leftover bits again from the other Suffolk, from this Suffolk engine that we caramelised uh, to get the uh, 5S block running, uh, which would be quite interesting uh, because the old 5S was a lever start engine, um, which is uh, a bit unusual, but it, I only had about 30% of the engine when I got it, so I don't have a flywheel for it. But I do have a couple of other Briggs and Strattons that I could take a flywheel off of. Uh, just temporarily to get that one going. So yeah, we've got some fuel in this and we're just gonna see now if uh, this little bizarre crossover engine will run. It's never been run since that video we did. Uh, so whatever that was, was the last time this engine started. So it's all stone cold. We have just checked for a spark and it does still have a spark. So hopefully it will go a little bit easier than it did in that first video that we did of it it was a bit of a pig. Ooh. Well, that's looking quite promising. Quite like that. She's going to be a little bit temperamental. It wouldn't surprise me. even check the oil in this thing. Ooh. Must be a little bit of a bugger I think. Of fuel. That would be turns out on that mixture screw. Put that in a few. Let's see what happens now. 